Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would take you along on the journey of me um, packing my bag. It's a bit of a weird video, but I don't know, I'll just show you what I take to school on like a normal day. Let me show you how messy I am when I'm studying. My bed looks like a bomb site at the minute. It's not very pretty. One minute. So this is like the current situation of my bed. I've got blankets, my dressing gown, a random file. Yeah, it's not pretty, but I'm going to try and pack it all into my bag. So yeah, let's do that. This is my school bag. If all of my stuff doesn't fit into my school bag, which is incredibly likely because I carry a shit ton of stuff to school per day, then I usually will carry a tote bag and put my lunch and just anything extra into that. So what's on the timetable for tomorrow? Well, tomorrow is a Wednesday and so I have maths in the morning, then I have form class, then I have um, a study period, chemistry, another study period, and then I have enrichment. It's just quite a simple class where we attend um, different teachers rooms and they talk about like life skills, I suppose. I really hope tomorrow is cooking because if it is, then hopefully we will be making something that I can eat. Last time it was chili beef nachos. I'm not allowed to eat beef. But anyway, I've already got my maths books in my school bag. So I have my mock exams coming up. So I have a lot of revision to do. This book is full, so I've got another book, which I'm using to revise in as well. And these will be going in my bag first. Next, I have to pack my chemistry textbook. Now I'm with the exam board SIA, which is a Northern Irish exam board. Uh, usually we don't use this textbook in class. I sometimes like to use it in the study. Not often, but sometimes I will. Okay, so this is my chemistry file. And while I'm organizing it, um, I'll talk a little bit about how I'm feeling for my mocks. So I have mocks in a few weeks now and definitely I can start to feel the pressure. Last year it was a bit of a different situation. My mocks were meant to be in January but then they got cancelled because we were in lockdown. Um, those marks actually ended up being actual exam results. I really don't want exams to get cancelled this year. Whilst I think the pro of that is that I don't have to learn all the content, which there is a lot of, the downside is the amount of stress and anxiety it causes for me, my parents, and then all my teachers. I really don't want to be disadvantaged just because of exam results and predicted grades and all of that. I just want the chance to prove myself and I think having an actual exam, you know, be my result than my mock exam result. I don't know, I just prefer that. Let me know how you feel about that. I'd like to like hear other people's thoughts. I do three subjects, biology, chemistry, maths. Out of those three, the subject that I have fallen the furthest behind in, and that's mainly due to my interview and my BMAT, is probably biology. It's suffered a lot. I have managed to catch up on most of my work during the break. There's only like two topics left and they shouldn't take me that much time. Maths. I don't know how I feel about maths. Like we have covered partial fractions, binomials, which I'm okay with. I can do those. For some reason, the biggest, I don't know, just the topic I dislike the most is sequences. I just hate that topic. I don't even know why. It's just so boring to me. My favorite topic in maths is definitely calculus and trigonometry. I just find them so interesting. I really like learning about how you can differentiate and, you know, sine, cos, tan, and now we're going to be differentiating sec, cosec, and cot. I sound like a massive nerd right now, but those are just my favorite parts of maths. And then chemistry. I love organic chemistry. I don't know how much of that will be on my mock exam though, because we haven't, you know, finished the first module yet. But I don't know, I just like organic chemistry. I think it's because it's the chemistry that we use most um, frequently in day-to-day -day life. And now I can do reaction mechanisms for 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine. That's a mouthful. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm just looking through my notes. Um, This is lattice enthalpy. You can see there, there's the diagrams and... To be honest, I think I actually did these diagrams wrong um, because the arrows aren't pointing the right way for some of them. As long as I can, I suppose, differentiate that and do it properly, it's not that deep. Here's some of my stuff in relation to what I was talking about. There's the structure of 2,4 DNPH. I'm probably going to have to rewrite some of this myself later on, but as long as I have that like foundation to work on, it won't take that long. 
now that my chemistry file is all it's not very organized but it's like it's organized enough for tomorrow i suppose i'm just going to put it in my school bag honestly i hate carrying files in my bag it just it's just so heavy so this is how my bag is looking it's like kind of full I'll talk a little bit about what I want to do in my study periods and then I will end the video. So tomorrow I have two study periods. Now each study period is um, an hour long. So I've got two hours in the study. That is pretty good because it means that I can essentially catch up on all of the biology that I was talking about. I have to go over ecosystems, which is quite a large topic and it's definitely something that i have been procrastinating throughout these holidays but i really need to start it because it's definitely going to be on my mock in some shape or form that should take me like an hour i think i, I don't want to finish the entire topic in one day i think that's just really overwhelming and kind of boring i think after in the afternoon period i'm probably going to i don't know i, pro I might do some maths or some chemistry sometimes i will carry like extra stuff to school i have been thinking of ordering the chemistry revision guides by sia they're very small white books they are meant to be really really good i used them last year and i like them for maths it's a little bit different to be completely honest my maths textbook is actually really really good it's quite an old textbook but it's very detailed very comprehensive there's also a purple textbook that my school like to let us use sometimes that's like available in my study so i like to do that there i just don't want to let work pile on that's definitely one of my new year's resolutions i have done that in the past and i just don't want to do it this year as well but anyway thank you so much for i suppose <laughs> watching me pack my bag i hope this video was a little bit different i hope to do more of these in the future uh let me know your thoughts especially in relation to predicted grades and exams and all of that thank you so much for watching please stay safe and i will see you next week for another video bye